What's going on, Matt? Not much, man. Man, it's good to be here. It's it's good to be here with you, also. Hey, thanks, dude. Hey, you're welcome, man. <laughs> it's been a couple weeks. Yeah, buddy. Happy uh, 31st of July. Yeah, yep. Yeah, today's the last day of July. Last day, the last day of July. Also, uh, my little brother's uh, birthday. Happy birthday, Mark. Hey, yeah, happy birthday. We're moving back to the States here soon, so uh -huh. I'm looking yep. forward to that. Yep. Uh, you, you, you don't know it yet, but you're probably going to have to do some production work on this. Yeah. On what we do. Camera so. operator or something oh, yeah. going on here. Yep. You guys sit there and just stare at my phone. So it's been a busy couple of weeks, Matt. Gearing up, uh, getting ready to be be a dad here. Yeah, that's coming up pretty quick, Got man. Due date coming up in uh, about a week, a little over a week. So Jeez. we're kind of just holding out till then. It's been a little crazy around here. That's pretty exciting, though. House has been uh, kind of under reform, as you've seen downstairs. It has. I've noticed the nesting then, is, yeah. is 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 happening. Yep. That's a that's a thing. Yeah. I'm excited for for you both. So we've got a few, a small collection of, of stories and things that have happened over the past few weeks uh, in July. Yeah, it's like a little cornucopia, a little of, cornucopia. Of, of pop culture nuggets. Mantises. Mantises. Yeah. Right. So that's what we're going to start with. Absolutely. Since, you know, I think it's appropriate. You've got a baby on the way. And, and you know, mantises are well known for their odd mating habits. They are. They which, are. Which, you know, lucky for you. You're not a mantis, because I'd you'd just yeah, be dude, headless right now. Yeah, dude. Seriously, I would be. This would be. This show would be much weirder. So did you know that praying mantises are killing birds and eating their brains, man? That's fucking nuts. Isn't that cool? I, I think so. I've cool. always, I always like really enjoyed praying mantises. I, I think they're really cool. But but they're eating birds now. They've had a significant staple in our our lives. Mantises have. Mm, yes. Um, indeed. And before we kind of like get full on into this story, um, I didn't know. The Joe Rogan experience was a thing, Matt. I yeah yeah I know this is this is crazy, but I've actually checked their show out. It's a it's a pretty cool little gig they got going on, and it, I don't want to really little, tread little, on, little you know I don't want to <laughs> tread on any water. Uh, yeah, our amazing well, show. In, in all fairness, like I I knew about it, but 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 I was just gonna see. You I was know, surprised, like he didn't even say anything. Right? I, I didn't. Just I didn't. Kind of I was just gonna let it go. I thought you knew too, so, so I thought we were just like, "Fuck you, Joe Rogan." In that, yeah, in that respect, you know, uh, we will uh, be doing some some changes, some rebranding. <laughs> some re <laughs> we'll be rebranding. Re Absolutely, because we won't even. Yeah, we won't even. Uh, we don't want to get mixed up in that. Yeah. Yeah. Chances are he's funnier than than us. Yeah. And, and if, well, so mantises. So mantises, dude. This is this birds. is really cool. They are eating birds. Um, typically mm -hmm. hummingbirds. Now, I mean, nothing nothing too crazy. But, but still, I mean, a hummingbird for, to a praying mantis, I mean, I've seen some big man, what, mantids? Mantids. What? Mantids. I have no idea. I, I don't either. <laughs> but holy shit, I mean, there's, these things are, are literally plucking. So it's a worldwide phenomenon. Um, life science explains that researchers poured through records. Um, mm -hmm. These records go all the way back to 1864. And 67% uh, of these cases were actually between 2000 and 2015. So there's something going on with, with mantises lately. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. You know, Some sort of uh, behavioral changes is what they're saying is going on here. Um, they don't really have an answer. Um, they're no. basically implying no. that nature is a bitch and uh, these guys are after brains you know it's it's for real it's a, it's a bitch I mean eating brains yeah well you know I wonder though Nick I mean when you sit here and think about about their the the mating thing like I was saying the females are, are known to yep. to rip the the heads off the males Absolutely. so it doesn't really surprise me that they're going straight for the brains on on I mean that's how you you finish if they them. can take down a bird yeah I mean then absolutely there's some wonderful photos here too Huffington Post. that's sort of fucked up they just hang out on the uh, the, the feeders yeah which you know says a lot for the mantises but doesn't say a whole lot for the hummingbirds <laughs> no I guess they don't see in color because most of those feeders are bright red right. and I don't know if you know this or not internet but mantises don't normally turn red no, they don't. I mean, they'll blend in with a lot of different, uh, you know, foliage. Sure, sure. But foliage. Holy fuck. Yeah, yeah. This is a this is a wild one. Hummingbirds what? are wonderful animals, Matt. Oh, oh, they do. are. They are. You know, Nature's uh, meth addict, you know. Oh, for sure. You know? Oh, for sure. Always. And that's the thing to me. It seems like that would be a tough thing to pluck out of the air. But yeah, but man, man, this has a quick strike. You know. Quick. Quick. Quick strike. Whoosh. Fast, they're yes. fast and deadly. Like a so cobra. fast and deadly. Oh, a lot deadly of uh, a lot of fast and deadly uh, this month, man. Man, a lot of stuff died. Uh, yeah, 
A lot of, uh, well, a few significant figures, at least to me, died. Uh, mm -hmm. Let's start with George A. Romero. Rest mm -hmm. in peace. Good old Dawn of the Dead. I have so much to say about Dawn of the Dead, Matt. It was my first real uh, experience into the zombie world, into yeah. the mind of, of the undead. Um, I remember seeing the original uh, original version, you know, we're in there in the mall, and mm -hmm. it forever changed me. I remember watching that, and then after it, just being absolutely freaked out, you know what I mean? Like, Well, yeah, yeah, and he was the master of this genre. Oh, yeah, you know? yeah, I, yeah. My, my Facebook feed was, was full of, of Peace Out George. Right, stuff. he's the godfather of the dead, um, mm -hmm. He had a brief but aggressive battle with lung cancer. That'll do it. And, and you were saying the videos of the coffee and the yeah, cigarettes. Yeah, you know, I'd, I'd seen quite a few, um, not documentaries, but interviews of George A. Romero. And in all these interviews, man, he's like, literally, dude, just chain-smoking cigarettes, drinking coffee. And it actually always made me want to smoke, too, watching him. Mm. But uh, 77, not bad. Good job, George. Way, way to make it. That's yeah. a long way to go when you're yeah. just chain-smoking and, and, and drinking coffee. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, 1978's Dawn of the Dead. That's it's like probably... a self-imposed Alcoholics Anonymous or something. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so, moving on from George A. Romero, we have Chester Bennington, who right. passed away. Which, this man. isn't going to be news to anyone at this point, so, no, but it's no. still uh, something that, that happened this past week that uh, I've certainly been thinking about. I know that you've been thinking about it. It's something that, you know, dude, when Hybrid Theory came out, I want to say I was like in like seven grade and that was actually uh, your quick story with hybrid theory right so we go i pick it up come home i listen to the entire thing and i called fye who was still open at the time and i asked oh, yeah. them if i could return it um it just for the first couple return lessons it? i could not stand it dude. couldn't handle it couldn't couldn't do it couldn't do it um but it wasn't until like four or five days later where my mom could actually take me back to the mall uh, -huh. uh she's like all right let's go return that disc and uh -huh. Four or five days later, I was absolutely in love with it. I was absolutely in love with it. Um, huh. Still to this day, I look at it as being kind of a pinnacle and, and a, a lot of, you know, adolescent teens' uh, first music repertoire, you well, know, mixing well, yeah. the, the rap and the rock. Is... Well, well, right, because at that time, like, we, we were just kind of getting over the, uh, the Limp Bizkit thing. Fuck. Oof, which was not good for anybody. Dude. It did a lot of bad, th and, and Kid Rock came out of it. <laughs> Terrible. No, uh, I mean, there's a lot of bad things that came out. He's, I mean, got, a, he's got a few good songs, I suppose. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he just wasn't such a god-awful person. Yeah. He's just a garbage human. Sure. So, but but yeah, a lot of things came out of that whole new metal rap rock thing. And and Linkin Park, you know, I, I think even the staunchest of metalheads would they be... They pulled have, off. Uh, yeah, they would have a hard time saying that Linkin Park didn't have uh, some sort of, of play... Uh, on on the uh, on the heavier end of things, like Definitely. in terms of influence, I know for me, you know, Hybrid Theory was a huge album, be, just because it was so it was it was really, really different too. Yeah. Well, and and for you, with a lot of you know a lot of the music that you make is really really uh, heavy electronic. Sure. Yeah, you know, yeah. and and it'd be hard to listen to the stuff that you make and not hear a little bit of that influence because Dude, of the things. Definitely. The, the, I mean, the samples and the, the, the things that they were playing with, that the way that they, uh, the way that they put that all together was, was huge. Pretty, pretty top of the line, really. And I mean, I always felt like they were really far ahead of their time. And, and it's I, hard, honestly, Matt, with new metal, and I'll just say this term lightly, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's hard to be able to go back to new metal, even like some of the early, like, Deftone stuff. It doesn't hold up quite so well. Linkin Park holds up. It still well. holds up really well. Yeah, really, 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 does. they really do. And and again, I think a lot of that was was to do with the fact that I always felt like they were just they were years ahead of their time. And so I think even today, you listen to Hybrid Theory or any of their first couple of albums, mm -hmm. and you can see where I think they just kind of got bored when you start off. So to me, when you start off so far ahead of the 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 musical curve. Sure. I think, you know, I think that's why you had some of those, the, the last few albums that weren't really, really that great. Uh, and, and, you know, <laughs> it's, rest in peace, Chester, but we gotta Dude. talk about these motherfucking turtle oh, boners. Oh, what's going on, turtle boners? Turtle boners. Researchers are using vibrators to give turtles boners. That's about time, man. Well, I mean, turtles deserve a rise here and there. <laughs> you know, don't they? Yeah, uh, I, sure. I, and my first thought was... Hey, hey. 
was those Aussie man reviews, right? <laughs> and the turtle attacking the cat, right? Yeah. My first thought was initially like, why aren't we funding? Mm. Oh wait, we are funding this. Yeah. Oklahoma. Yeah. This okay. So where is this? Where is this shit happening? So somewhere <laughs> they are. I mean, and this is good news for the sex toy industry. I mean, you know, your your stuff works. <laughs> it, it it works on other species. Yes. Now, in any other light, I suppose this might be something along the lines of bestiality or highly you know, illegal. You know, it's not yeah. like this is this is not like our uh, bukake story at all. You it's know, really it's, it's because not, science, right? Well, this is yeah, this is at least scientific. Yeah. I mean, the way that she died was scientific too, I suppose. <laughs> but 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 this is less uh, scuzzy, I guess. <laughs> So, Donald McKnight was studying Oklahoma chicken turtles a few years ago. He used previously published techniques to characterize their populations. This is straight from the, the article on Motherboard. Yeah. Just so we have some context. So, after his results indicated extremely biased sex ratios, the males greatly outnumbered the females, McKnight, a PhD, who's, who's handing out these boners, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> candidate at James Cook University in Australia, Australia, okay, started to get suspicious and wondered whether he might be using inaccurate techniques. <laughs> right, right. So inspired by a paper he read about ejaculating turtles with a vibrator. Hold up, stop. Yeah. Let's read that again. Inspired, inspired by, by a paper he read about, about ejaculating, ejaculating turtles with a vibrator. Woo! Man, that's a mouthful. Let that, let that sink in. Just let that sink in for ejaculating turtles. These turtles are ejaculating. Okay. So, something something masturbating turtles was a method researchers could use to distinguish between males and females. Oh! oh he's, uh, he's obtaining sperm for study. I right. See. This oh, is okay. not like his Friday night. Oh, man. You know, it's not like a couple apple teenies and some turtle boners, you know? <laughs> 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 There's nothing that's not fun about this story. Oh, no. So, but my favorite thing is, go back to the, the, the quote up at the top. Where, where he's like, oh, yeah. authors report that it may be useful to move the vibrator around in small, slow, steady circles. I think that works for both. That probably... Yeah, yeah. That crosses... Uh, huh. <laughs> it doesn't say what type he used. Like the, 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 was it one of the bunnies? You know, the, Yeah, the, the, I don't know, man. With uh, the weird clit stimulator thing on it. Or, uh, I don't know, I have no idea. We don't, we don't, we don't really know. There's not really like an ac actual footage. I'm sure if you look... This you is a wonderful it. quote, Matt. When trying a species for the first time, researchers really just need to experiment with lots of different positions and techniques. <laughs> of course you do. Fucking <laughs> it. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, jacking off uh, uh, turtles. Teenage mutant ninja. To, let, let's, let's go into this uh, interesting Hey, little, why not sperm juice, right? Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So Japan uh, and their scariest restaurant. Japan's so, scariest restaurant. The Japanese are weird as fuck. Uh, this is a, uh, this is a real <laughs> place, and, uh, I wonder where this is in Japan. You would think, like, Tokyo, you know? Man, honestly, it's, it's probably, like, this is probably, like, a McDonald's chain. I, I feel like yeah. things in Japan are just so goddamn strange. Like, what? Uh, the name of, the, <laughs> the name of this restaurant mm -hmm. is Roast Beef Pussy. Roast Beef Pussy. Yeah. I mean, this is... You know, uh, oh, so okay, so the the concept here is food that looks like genitals and yeah, and, and a gross organs. Dem, you know, it's pretty gnarly. Yeah, I mean, and that's me talking. And, you know, there's the maxi pads down there with the yeah with so, a gastric on them or something. I don't know. What it says the the serial the interior of this place looks like. Um, it's from like the movies. You know, the series Saw. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's definitely got a to. hostile vibe to it. You yeah, know? yeah. Um, Opening the menu is a glimpse into hell with items such, such as sausage and the shape of a bowel. Yep. Yeah. There's napkin jelly. There's all sorts of. It, uh, so the napkin jelly. Okay. Yeah. So that's that's a feminine napkin. Beer is served BT in dubs. bedpan urinals, and a drink called sperm juice comes in a cup with a banana protruding out of what looks like a penis that just blew a money shot. It, 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 it does. 
very, I mean, you guys can't see this, but I can tell you that yeah. it does, in fact, look like... Lots of fantastic imagery going on here. This is uh, DangerousMinds.net. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you've got the, the, the tits in a cup, too. Yeah, yeah. dude. All Which, of it. you know, when you look at the rest of you it, it's kind of like... Rice. That's, yeah, hey, check it out. A beef brain. Uh -huh. Ooh, bloody mannequin heads used for serving drinks. Napkin jelly. Yeah, so that's the one that's oh, a maxi man. pad that's with jelly on it. That's a maxi pad with jelly and a spoon. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's a beaker with a uh, with a tampon. Yeah, there you go. In it. Uh, Omelette liver. Uh huh. There's yeah. the uh, infamous sperm juice there. And there's another drink with an eyeball hanging on the top. The eyeball doesn't look all that real, no, but it really doesn't. but there's a anytime there's a urinal right by where you eat, it's probably by now. Oh yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is mm. this is a. Uh, oh. There's, There's their, their signature, signature dish. With the, the horseradish in you the middle. You guys gotta see this. Well, yeah, you can't, can. yeah. Roast beef. Roast beef. Gross. Woo! Alright. Jesus. From one, uh... <laughs> so... One dark corner to the other dark you corner. You know, a little, little field to fork here. Uh, this is really, really fantastic. I don't know if you watched the video. Uh, I did, and at first I didn't know what I was watching. So yeah. they caught this, and this was all over the internet uh, about a week or so ago. Oh, go, yeah. Man high on drugs goes on rampage in Chicago neighborhood after cutting off his own penis. Yeah, so there is a whole mm -hmm. video here. Um, mm -hmm. He's seen in this video, he charges it. Uh, the police. If you haven't seen, you're probably wondering, well, you know... Uh, Here's the thing, he's not wearing any clothes, so every it, it's no secret that there's just, I mean... So my big thing with this article, this is uh, brought to us by Daily Mail. Uh, mm, which which is a, it's a, it's a UK website, so they're, they're, they're going to be a little disconnected, given that it's happening here in the States, and they're over there. Yeah, uh, so, so the only thing I don't agree with, uh, they, they mention here, the, the unidentified man appears to be high on acid, or synthetic drugs. <laughs> <clears throat> Maybe synthetic drugs, yeah. You um, know, I heard uh, fentanyl or something like that. Okay. Is that how you say it? That uh, that, that new like super heroin stuff. Dude, I don't even know. I heard the I I I know mm. of it, but I don't mm. really know about it. Oh, this dude was on some shit. Yeah, dude, he's uh. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, well, you know, you, any any time you're you're cutting your, you're cutting your own dick off, yeah. that's there's, that's probably a good indicator that that the the drugs have have started to take hold, maybe. Man, he's really nothing but nuts now. Oh. <laughs> but it's wild to me, because this guy was walking on, uh, and walking around, ranting and raving, and I guess that's what you do when you cut your dick off. I don't know. Yeah. I've never um, thought to try that. One that's of the best, uh, most liked comments here on this page is, yep, bath salts, heaven help us. Oof. You know? Yeah, you know, so bath salts, kids, stay away from them. The, you know, the, those things. Do they are, uh, yeah, smoke people. those? I don't know what you do. I don't do. know what you do with bath salts. you just take a bath? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of confusing. <laughs> oh, it's, such a, it's an angry bath. Yeah. I need to amputate. God, man. Man, it's a, it's a rough world out there. It's um, a rough world. If you got dangling parts and, and access to drugs. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's kind of, that's that's the thing. A few things that happened over the past couple weeks, you yeah. know? Yeah, that's, you know, we're going to do a little little rebranding at some point. Absolutely. Mm, Absolutely. But because, because experience isn't going to work going forward, probably. Probably not. I mean, not that it's... This it's, has been an experience. It's been an experience. It'll been. continue to be an experience. It will be. Absolutely. We just probably won't call it an experience. Probably not. We might, we might you know, hire a law firm to... to hey. I've got some really sweet lawyers, I really do. Yeah, you do. That's that's good. I'm green and in need of a day. I'm in need of a day. I'm in need of a day. Oh, right, yeah. yeah, so that's going to do it. Um, this has been... Until next week, granted, uh, little, little baby Fiona's not here yet. Right, so there's a baby coming, so who knows when we do this again. Yeah. But, but the next time, you know, you'll be... Um, you'll be really be tired. Yeah. You're going to be a dad, too. Seriously. So that's exciting. Let's do this! Yeah. That's it.